Alaskan sockeye is one of the most environmentally friendly forms of food that we know. That is according to Ray Hilborn, a fishery scientist and professor at the University of Washington School of Aquatic and Fishery Sciences. In this episode, we show how Ray reaches this conclusion. But first, we provide as much insight as possible at this point in time on the upcoming salmon market. We've started up our Alaska salmon counter for the 2022 season as small catches are starting coming in from various fisheries openings. This counter is updated weekly on Mondays and keeps track of all previous weeks as well. To view our salmon counter, just go to Tradex Live and click on the Alaska Salmon Harvest Totals button. It's still too early to get a good sense of pricing on the upcoming salmon season as Alaska's harvest typically doesn't start ramping up until the end of June. However, it is safe to say that this year will be a year like no other as Alaska is forecasting for 73 million less fish than was harvested in 2021. And war sanctions on Russia could potentially prohibit 315,000 metric tons or almost 700 million pounds of Russian origin salmon from entering North America. Reflecting back on 2021, it was a year that salmon in the wholesale market was always short and demand at the consumer level was extremely high as seafood sales reached new highs. Now with consumers battling inflation, providing value through quality could be the key to a winning formula this year as consumers will want their dollar to go as far as possible. Just as we advised a few weeks ago, do your due diligence on quality this year. For example, rumor has it that there is an oversupply of last year's sockeye fillets that may be getting dumped into the market soon. Our recommendation this week is to start talking to your Tradex rep on the species, size, and specs on the salmon you want this year. Also, if you're interested in some sales and marketing support on bringing more value to your products, give our team a shout. And and it's, and it's really always the ratios. How are we compared to other things? Um, and so, for, for instance, uh, the, the greenhouse gas footprint is uh, is lower than producing a, 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 kilo, a kilogram of Alaska sockeye is lower than a kilogram of corn. Uh, it's 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 really quite good. And just to uh, wind up, just to compare uh, a sockeye sandwich uh, from uh, a, a fast food processor or uh, to a uh, what you know what is being touted as the environmentally friendly form of uh, of food that is the the impossible whopper that's a vegetarian imitation of hamburger um, we're, we're way under that and uh, and and now there's a big push for all of these artificial fish being produced uh, from plant products they're never going to come close to the real to the real thing and uh, the study provides uh, an opportunity for BBRSDA and the Alaska salmon industry as a whole to really advertise their products as one of the most environmentally friendly forms of food uh, that we know. The main purpose of this study was to compare greenhouse gas and other impacts of farm salmon from Norway to Alaskan sockeye and pink salmon. Some of the results from the study showed that Alaska's salmon had a much lower environmental footprint compared to Norwegian farm salmon when measured in kilograms of carbon dioxide produced per kilogram of product from the start of the production process to their transport of goods to the final buyer. Other environmental impacts that were touched upon including nutrient release, ecotoxicity, and land use. And of these elements in the case of farm fish, it is actually the growing of crops for feed that has the most impact from fertilizers, pesticides, and extensive land use. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our 3-Minute Market Insight using the sign-up form below to keep tuned in to all upcoming Market Insights. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This has been Robert Ryerson reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.